welcome back to yet another video of the jQuery video series. In this video, I'm going to be talking about selectors. Well, in jQuery, we have selectors and we have filters. This video is dedicated to demonstrating selectors, what selectors actually is. Uh, selectors, basically, when we talk about selectors in jQuery, they are basically what they do is that they return an array of objects that match the selection criteria. For example, in this demonstration or in this video, I have something called P, and now I have selected the P. So what it will do is that it will return all the elements that are the paragraph that is. Okay, so now this line is inside the paragraph, as you can see. Even the second line is inside the paragraph. Okay, and even the third and fourth, they are all in the paragraph. So now what I'm telling JavaScript or the jQuery part is to return all the paragraphs and do a little uh, styling on that, you know, so that you know what paragraph is being selected. Okay, so I'll just save it and uh, I'll just preview this one and let's see how it looks like. All right, so the first one is the paragraph I have had right here. This is P, second one, third one, fourth one. So these are all. Uh, being selected or written by jQuery. Now let's do something with it. Uh, now what I want is jQuery to give me all the unordered list items. So instead of P, what I will type now is UL, that will be an ordered list, and uh, all these items will be selected. So just now I've typed UL, instead of P, UL as you know is the unordered list. Okay, now I'll just save it, go back, I can either go back or just preview it again, and there you go. Now all these elements are uh, now highlighted. Now instead of the whole element, what I want is the individual element to be selected. So the way we do that is, it will come back to my brain, you know, instead of li, I type, instead of ul, I type, Ally. So let's type that and let's see what happens. Okay, I'll save this one. Go back to my browser and hit refresh. And there you go. All the individual elements, all the individual names are now being selected. So this is the selector for you by jQuery. And in my next video, I'm going to be talking about the filters. And the filters, we can do something more expensive exciting with it. So that's all about it. The video concludes right here and it show you how we can use this director in jQuery. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Do join me in the next video series and uh, thanks all. Have a good day.